So I've got a little bit lazy about filming. We boarded out this middle room. Um, and then since then I've been working, as you will have seen already, a little bit uh, to board up in there. And you know, a few boards in the brewery. And the sneaky among you will have just noticed that that means we now have an actual little fuse box with um, with some real fuses in specifically for the brewery. So that's good. And that means that through here, if we just pop through here, we've got the switch for the 32 amp supply here. Now the extra eagle-eyed among you would have noticed that that's not on the wall that I said it would originally be on. That's because James made a really good point when he was here. I was originally going to put the brewery here, which is on the back wall as you move in, uh, as you walk in. But the hood that I've got to make to get rid of steam, and thank you for the guys at um, homebrewforum.co.uk um, for telling me that I needed one of those, that won't give me enough to, uh, space to brew under if I do it on that wall. If I do it here on the tallest wall in this room, then I should have enough room um, if I make the work surface lower than I was planning to, um, to give me enough room for sort of looking into pots and things like that. So right now I'm in here, just finished off getting the lights working. So the lights are now not working on an extension lid. This is the cabin running on its own power. Um, now I'm gonna prep the rest of this room to uh, get some insulation in here. Here we go. taken me about five times too long to realize that my face started itching. Uh, can't use your hands to itch your face because it's fiberglass. Um, so I'm wiping my face on my jacket which is covered in fiberglass. Clever boy. A few moments later and there is apart from that bit because the uh, sheet doesn't go high enough and I don't want to do that until I do the ceiling, which I can't do on my own. Uh, and also because I have to turn the lighting off to do that and it's far too soon since I've got it working to do that. Uh, apart from that bit, there is now insulation on those two walls, so that's good. And I'm going to go in because I am itching like um, an itchy thing. in horrible rainy day, which is exactly the reason for building a brewery. So I can brew on days like this very soon. Uh, I've done a few bits uh, since the last update. And just boarding up in the brewery as we speak. Pain in the arse because every gap between studs is completely different because it's a shed, not a house. So they don't build things with like 600 centers or anything like that. So it's not easy. Uh, every cut is completely different. It's just a bit fiddly, which is a shame. But that's how it is. Got to get those couple of boards up and then do insulation and boarding on this wall and that'll probably be it for today. Um, get all the walls up and that should mean I should turn all the electricity, I th think, in this room because it's working everywhere else. It's Saturday night, it's about eight o'clock probably, something like that. And uh, I've just come out to do some work again in the brewery. What I wanna do is fill in little gaps like this if I can, it's not a big deal. Um, but I want to get some paint on the walls. One difference with this uh, session in comparison to others though is that I beer and the Bathurst 12 hours to keep me company. So that's good, that is good. Done a few bits and pieces. 
nothing special. I mean, obviously it's chipboard, so it was never going to be smooth anyway. Uh, I will run over it with a sander at some point. <laughs> just before painting. So I was hoping to end this video on uh, this all being painted, um, but <laughs> it's still only got that first coat of primer on it. This week's just fallen apart um, at work for me, so I haven't had really much inclination in the evenings to come in and put more coats on. But yet there is a coat of primer on, so we are getting somewhere at least. Um, once this paint's done, I can build all the work surfaces and um, get on with brewing. I'm hoping the next video will have all of that in, so it will have paint, at least some of the work surfaces, and um, the extractor fan unit as well. So the next one should be pretty good. Thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe. If you do subscribe, click the little bell, all those things that those actual YouTubers rather than me tell you to do. Um, really appreciate all your support. It, um, Makes me feel bad for not getting more done in this video, but I will uh, I will do more for you next time. Thanks a lot.